Yo, what is up guys? For today, we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the new weapons that got introduced this week from the Exodus Umbral Ingrams. And I'm going to say a lot of these weapons are really cool. Most of these weapons are going to be replacing some of the weapons that are going to be sunset next season. I know I'm replacing two weapons right now. So let's look at the first weapon real quick. So the Iclos SMG is coming back. This is one of my favorite weapons from Warmind. I think this this one was the weapon that I love to use the most. Sure, the Iclos shotgun was busted, but for me, the SMG was just more fun. It was a lot more fun, especially in PvP. So let's look at the perks and hope that they have good rolls. So the first row is going to be Threat Detector, Subsistence, Grave Robber, Dynamic Story Reduction, and Pulse Monitor for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Forpal Weapon, Demolitionist, Disruption Break, Surrounded, and Tap the Trigger. So for me, I'm just going to give you the roles that I would go for. For PDE, I would go for either Dynamic Ray Reduction, Grave Robber, or Threat Detector. And then for the second row, I'd go for Demolitionist, Disruption Break, and Tap the Trigger. So you guys probably noticed that I did not put Surrounded there. Me personally, I've never really liked Surrounded. I like the idea of it. It's just that without the, the mod, the Surrounded mod, it just kind of is weak in my opinion. Also, you got to be really like dick close to enemies. So for me, I just, uh, why be surrounded when I can just melee them is what I've always thought. So I know a lot of people are probably going to go for threat detector and surrounded. They really meld well together. Like I said, surrounded for me, I just never liked. I'll probably give it a try just to see if like my mind changes, but I'm not excited. I definitely would rather just get something along the lines of like dynamic square reduction and demolitionist or disruption break. But I have the Dynamic Story Reduction and Tap the Trigger roll, which is the PvP roll for sure. If you're on console or keyboard and mouse even, that roll is still a lot of fun. It does not move at all. It's really weird. So I would say get that roll. That roll is really good. And yeah, this, this weapon is fun. Honestly, the only thing that kills me is the magazine is pretty low. But I've seen, I've seen ones that are lower, so it's not that big a deal. And... For PvP, I would I would actually tell you Seraph rounds, go for that, it's pretty good. So honestly, um, the role that I would go for would be Dynamic Story Reduction and just Demolitionist. I think I feel like Demolitionist right now, especially this season, considering we got Oppressive Darkness back, is the play to do, especially for like high-end activities. This SMG you can use in high-end activities. You can't say that a lot for a lot of SMGs, considering Dynamic Sway probably wouldn't be the play for the, for high-end activities. I would probably most likely say like maybe Grave Robber or Threat Detector. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't like Threat Detector all too much. So Threat Detector with Demolitionist would probably be the play. Grave Robber would be, be the better play in my opinion, that instant reload. Pulse Monitor, I can see the benefit because as a Hunter main, I get, I get really low health a lot, but I can go invisible. So I can see the benefit there. But me personally, I would probably go Dynamic Story Reduction and Demolitionist or Disruption Break. But if I'm being quite honest with myself, Dynamic Story Reduction and Demolitionist all day. That's the role I would go for for PvE. For PvP, obviously Dynamic Story Reduction, Tap to Trigger, and Seraph Rounds. So yeah. Let's go on to the second weapon, which is going to be the Icolo Sniper. So this weapon, I actually am replacing my Trophy Hunter. Not saying that Trophy Hunter is going to be Sunset next season. But it's more of a future proof. Not only that, but from what the the math I did, the Icolos sniper rifle does more damage over time. Obviously, it does more damage over time than the Trophy Hunter. The Trophy Hunter is really great for burst damage. The Icolos is really good for like sustained. Like, it's really good. So let's look at the first perks real quick. Fourth times a charm, triple tap, feeding frenzy, no distractions and moving target for the first row. For the second row is going to be boxed breathing, high impact reserves, quick draw, multi kill clip and disruption break. So the role that I ended up getting was force times a charm with high impact reserves and I think like what was it a pendant mag? I got a I got a magazine perk which increased my magazine up to 7 rounds. So obviously force times a charm is going to be the play because after what is it rapidly landing precision hits will return 2 rounds to the magazine. And then with high impact reserves, you're going to be getting the benefit from getting low, but then going back up and then going back. It's dude it's really wild how much damage you can do. So for PVE, obviously I would say fourth times the charm with high impact reserves 
and any magazine perk on it. For PvP, you're going to be wanting maybe no distractions with box breathing if you're more of a passive player, if you like to like stay in the back with a sniper rifle. If you're more of a quick scope type dude, which is okay, then moving target with high impact reserves would probably be the best play or quick draw. No, there's no there's no bad thing about quick draw obviously there's a bunch of things you can do with this weapon i just i'm just happy that it came with really good rolls these are really good rolls for a sniper rifle the fact that my fourth times a charm and high impact reserves i not only put my trophy hunter away but immediately master worked it meant that i was like this this gun's gonna be fucking good so i highly highly recommend you get this weapon in some sort of capacity so the next weapon is going to be first in last out, which is a shotgun, a slug shotgun at that. And honestly, I think I got the God roll. It's going to be wasted on me because I don't use slug shotguns, but I might use them now. So I ended up getting one with assault mag, slide shot and opening shot. And for me, that just is gross. It's really gross. So let's look at the perks before I start gushing. So outlaw. Auto loading holster, hip fire grip, slide shot, and pulse monitor for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be demolitionist, corporal weapon, surrounded, opening shot, and eye of the storm. So this is going to this is going to get really weird because obviously slug shotguns got a buff not too long ago, and they're actually quote unquote viable from what I've heard. I'm not going to use them because I just no, but you might never know. So if you want to get a PVE roll. I would suggest Assault Mag, obviously, and then maybe Outlaw with Vorpal Weapon or Demolitionist. For PvP, obviously Slide Shot, Opening Shot. I've seen someone say Pulse Monitor and Opening Shot. Again, I hate Pulse Monitor. But I ended up getting, yeah, like I said, I ended up getting Assault Mag with Slide Shot and Opening Shot. And that roll is just fucking weird and nutty to me. And I'm probably going to be using it in PvP just to see how it works out. But... This weapon's really good. I've been fucking around with it in the tribute hall and I've been enjoying it a lot more than I thought to be quite honest. So obviously outlaw, demolitionist, auto loading holster, demolitionist, vorpal weapon. There's a bunch of stuff you can do for PVE, but for PVP, like I said, that the role that I have will probably be the role that you want to get. So the last weapon is going to be Behringer's memory, which is a grenade launcher and heavy grenade launcher and if I sound disappointed, it's just that I do not give two fucks about this grenade launcher. But I guess there's like maybe one roll that makes me kind of go, oh, I'll, yeah, okay, I, I might want to use this. So first roll is going to be quick draw, field prep, clown cartridge, threat detector, pulse monitor, underdog for the first row. For the second row is going to be disruption break, demolitionist, auto loading holster, elemental capacitor, Rampage and shield disorient. So the role I would go for is spike grenades because this can roll with spike grenades. Clown cartridge. And if clown cartridge procs off of this, then auto loading holster. If auto loading holster procs clown cartridge, I can see the benefit in this. The fact that I don't have to reload, but I'll still get the benefits from clown cartridge is something that makes me really interested. But would I actively go for this roll? No, it would most likely be something like, oh shit, I didn't get the sniper rifle, even though I already have the sniper rifle god roll that I want. So even then, it's most likely gonna go down to like, do I wanna get the SMG, which I still don't have a roll I love, or do I wanna go for Behringer's Memory, even though, again, spike grenade, clown cartridge, and auto loading holster. And I don't even know if auto loading holster procs clown cartridge. So even then, that's more of a gamble on my part, so. You can take that as you will. I mean, personally, I'm not going to waste too much time on it. If I get a god roll on the SMG, then I might as well get the god roll for the for the last one. But me personally, I just I don't see myself actively going for this. So let me know what you guys think about the weapons. Again, the SMG, the Iclos SMG is awesome. The Iclos sniper rifle is dope as fuck. If my numbers are correct, first in first in first uh, first in last out is dope. I love the role that I have. I am wanting to experiment more with it. And Behringer's Memory, obviously, I just, I kind of feel like it was just 
kind of wasted to be there. It would have been better if we got another weapon of some sort. Something better. Something just not that. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let links in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.